Hi everybody, it's me and welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I post every day of the week for all and today in this video I'm going to be doing my top 10 Fairly Odd Parents characters. Now here are some characters that I like who are from the Fairly Odd Parents parents and as for those who didn't know the Fairly Odd Parents is one of my favorite cartoons. I really enjoy it. It's pretty fun fun and it's a hilarious cartoon. I'm sure everybody loves that cartoon. I've actually never met someone who doesn't. I think it's just a super funny cartoon and it's one of my favorites. So I'm going to get started. And if you guys like the Fairly Odd Parents, who are your favorite characters, let me know down in the comments below. And I'm going to get started. So number one in my list should be Cosmo. So the reason why I like Cosmo is because he's super funny. He's very dumb he makes a lot of mistakes and his mistakes are pretty funny but i love the fact that he still tries his best to be a responsible parable well, fairy god parent despite the fact that he's not very bright which i really enjoy joy and i also love the fact that he keeps a nickel that he names philip i don't know I don't know why he just keeps a nickel named Philip. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Number two on my list would have to be Wanda. So the reason why I like Wanda is because I think she's also pretty funny. She is a pretty smart um, character. She's probably one of the smartest characters in the show. And I love the fact that she's constantly making sarcastic remarks, which are pretty funny, especially when she, she, even though she bashes on Cosmo sometimes, like calling him not very bright and stuff, I think it's pretty funny. Like she constantly makes fun of him, but still she loves him and she wants to be with him and she thinks he's still a good parent despite the fact he's not very godparent despite the fact he's not very bright <laughs> right and I just love the fact that she and Cosmo both act more like parents to Timmy than his actual parents do do the fact his actual parents are not very bright number three on my list would have to be Timmy Turner the reason why I like Timmy Turner is because I like the fact that he um is pretty funny like a bunch of his wishes he makes first turn out good but then his wishes all turn out bad bad because they go from good to bad and I think it's really funny like he'll go I wish for this thing and then it happens good to be good for a while but then after a while the wish ends up going all wrong and bad <laughs> bad which is kind of um funny funny but I, I end up learning from his mistakes Number four, I'm really happy Mr. Crocker. The reason why I think Mr. Crocker is pretty funny, even though I don't really like Mr. Crocker, I think he's really funny. I really like the fact that he tries his best to prove fairies exist, but then he ends up failing to prove his point. And he just, like, no matter how hard he tries, he just ends up being a failure. You're to prove that fairies exist, and everybody thinks he's just nuts. <laughs> Number five on my list would have to be Sparky. The reason why I like Sparky is because I like that he's a magic fairy dog. And I love the fact that he's always like silly, making mistakes as well. And I love the fact that he loves Timmy and he also tries his best to be a good pet. And he loves um, Timmy and his family very much. And I love the fact that Sparky is a magic dog who can fly. Number six on my list would have to be Poof. The reason why I like Poof is because he's so adorable. I love the fact that he's constantly playing around with his little rattle, which is like a wand and everything. And I love the fact that he's um, cute and he's still learning how to use his magic and, and um, when he uses, he's still learning how to use his Oops, excuse me. Sorry. He's still learning how to use his, like, magic wand. I think that's pretty, um, pretty cool. Because it does take a while for some people to learn new things. And I love the fact that he cares for Timmy and looks up to him like an older brother. And I also love the fact that he, um, is very protective of Timmy as well. Despite the fact he's still a baby and doesn't know any better. He's, um... Really, he just loves Timmy like a older brother. 
He looks up to Timmy like an older brother, and I think that's really cool. Number seven, I listen to be Timmy's parents. The reason why I like Timmy's parents because I think they're super funny because they're also not very bright and they're oblivious to a lot of things, like Vicky being evil, and I think that's pretty um funny. And like they're oblivious to Mr. Crocker being crazy. Well, they're kind of aware of Mr. Crocker being crazy, crazy, and I really enjoy the fact, despite the fact that they're dumb and they. Don't pay, sometimes don't pay much attention. They try their best to be responsible parents and care for Timmy. Timmy and show that they love him, which I think is very sweet. Sweet, despite the fact that they're both not very bright. They try everything they can to make Timmy happy be, and raise him to be a responsible adult. Number eight on my list would have to be Tootie. The reason why I like Tootie, because I think she's also pretty funny. I really think, yeah, she just thinks pretty funny because she has quite a slight obsession with Timmy. Like, she goes after him despite the fact that he doesn't like her. Like her, and she's completely oblivious to the fact that he doesn't like her. It kind of reminds me of Sonic and Amy from the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Even though I didn't really watch Sonic the Hedgehog, I just saw clips of it. Anyway, so... So I love the fact that she's just going, constantly going after Timmy and refuses to give up until he likes her back. <laughs> I can I think that's pretty funny. Number nine on my list had to be Veronica. The reason why I think Veronica's a really funny character is because she goes from a dislike to a liking obsession with Tim Timmy. Well, actually, she doesn't like. She shows in front of people that she doesn't like Timmy. Timmy just to show her coolness, but then when people are around, she shows that she has a big crush on Timmy. Timmy, and it's mentioned in an episode. I'm not going to say which episode, no, because that might take too long. And I love the fact that she's kind of on and off. She's kind of crazy, see, and she freaks out when she sees like people being cool in one day. Here she go day, and I love the fact that she's just um, goes nuts over Timmy, Timmy, and she goes nuts over Trixie because. Trixie is more popular than she is, so she, so she like she likes being friends with Trixie, but at the same time, it's like she has a enemy with um, Trixie. Trixie because she's jealous of Trixie. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Number ten of my list would be Jorgen von Strangle. The reason why I like Jorgen von Strangle because I think he's also a pretty good character. I love the fact that he. Um, I also love the fact that he is. Um, very protective of the fairy universe, even though there's any cares for a lot of his friends. Despite the fact that he acts so tough and mean, he still has a soft side, which I really think is very nice. Like, he cares for a lot of his friends. He makes sure they're all well. And then he always makes fun of, like, Cosmo, which I think is pretty funny. Funny, but he does show that he cares for a lot of the fairies, despite the fact he acts all tough and mean to them them and I love the fact that he when he tries to care for people he ends up like making more of a problem making more trouble for them which I think it's kind of funny okay so those are my top 10 fairly odd parents characters I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already I post every day of the week for all and I'll see you in another video soon bye